some keys and uh, answers to the questions uh, we will see today disclaimer is that it is only a tentative and official key and this is only for educational purpose and the departmental key would be final for all purposes and i would also like you to uh, request you to please check the pin uh, pinned first comment by me for the latest information or changes if any okay so try to see the first comment first and come here first question in cases of medical advance paid directed to the hospital for uh, treatment of a government servant within which period the employee should uh, submit the adjustment uh, bills for the final settlement the answer is uh, within one month from the date of discharge of the from the hospital this uh, a is correct second question on the death of the pensioner the payment of any arrears actually may actually due may be paid to his heirs uh, provided that they apply within dash months uh, of his death it is uh, one year from the date of his death this is uh, from the fhb volume 2 rule 154b what is the mandatory annuitization percentage of pension wealth on exit before attaining the age of 60 years it is 80 percent Ajay has applied leave for 10 days and availed LTC. He has 45 days of EL at his credit. In his service career, Ajay has encashed 53 days so far. Up to how many days of errand leave has Ajay, uh, can Ajay be allowed to encash? The options are 10 days, 5 days, 7 days, no encashment allowed. According to me, the answer would be 5 days because uh, here it is given as a leave for 10 days. So I presume it is uh, EL, however it is not clearly given whether it is uh, HPL on uh, MC or EL on MC or uh, EL whatever it is. LTC can be given even for uh, uh, HPL or committed leave on MC and EL also. Here uh, the type of leave is not given, however I presume that it is uh, EL. So 10 days uh, EL is granted here and uh, 45 days of uh, EL is at case credit. So 45 uh, what is the rule? It is uh, 30 days should be there after uh, debiting the leave uh, that is used for LTC as well as the leave encashment that is uh, 45 days minus 10 days it comes to 35. So only 5 days can be encashed. So the answer would be uh, B. However, uh, here 53 days already un uncashed. So only 7 days can be used in that 7 days only 5 days because of this contingency. Uh, five days can be used uh, so the answer would be b which of the following is included in the definition of goods uh, in general financial rules the answer would be all of the above that is as per uh, uh, rule 143 of GFR, the machinery supplied, the software of the operation of a machine supplied, uh, soft, the services of transportation and in installation are also treated as goods. What is the term of office of uh, information commissioner and information commission? It is five years. Which rule in GFR uh, lists the items to be included in RFP from consultants? It is uh, rule 186. After how many years from the date of retirement committed portion of pension will be restored? It will be restored after 15 years. If a government servant resigns or uh, retires or uh, is removed or dismissed or uh, dies in the middle of the calendar year, the earned leave credited uh, should be reduced at a rate of one tenth of the extraordinary leave taken in the half year and uh, in that half year and uh, leave regularized. General pro GPF uh, CS rules came into effect. Uh, it came into force from 1-4-1960. The financial power of the head of the division to sanction expenditure on carriage of mails uh, by modes other than the rail, air, uh, transport per month in each case is up to, it will be 1000 rupees. Special casual leave uh, in gra is granted to the central government uh, for appearing in, it is uh, none of the above. The major head of account uh, for postal receipts is uh, 1201. In case of article received by VPP and the amount is paid for the same to the postman and the delivery of the said article is taken, which among the following is treated as voucher? The VP cover together with either invoice or bill will be treated as voucher as per rule one for, uh, rule 44 of uh, FHB volume 1 as per the note 1 under this rule. What is the amount of financial assistance given to the GDS in case of natural calamities, fire and floods? It is uh, 
5000 as per these uh, rules uh, you will find the welfare measures in that you will find this one for the departmental employees you should understand that it is only 4500 for natural calamities uh, it is given as a financial assistance for gds it is uh, 5000 who shall appoint an information commissioner or information commissions uh, commissioners it is the president of india as per 123 rule uh, of uh, rt act so the following is a nodal agency for SDBS uh, for GDS. It is a PFRDA, Pension Fund Regulatory Development Authority. A government servant who has acquired uh, uh, a lien on the post continues to retain lien on the said post uh, in all of these cases. That is uh, during suspension and uh, submitted for notice for voluntary retirement means it is duty only. So it is also there during the period which he is on extraordinarily with any leave or suspension or duty. They are, these three are treated as to have uh, retained the lien and this is as per this uh, OM. What is the amount of financial assistance granted to the departmental employees uh, who had to avail extraordinary half pay leave on a medical certificate due to serious prolonged illness or major surgical operations? The answer is... Uh, 750 it is extraordinary of pay leave. The financial power of the head of the postal division for hiring accommodation or for holding examinations and for purposes uh, uh, holding the customer meet it is uh, 5000 in each case. Which rule in fundamental rules uh, relates to provisions uh, with respect to drawal of increments uh, for the employees it is uh, FR24. Limited tender inquiry is to be used in case of procurement of goods estimated uh, value less than 25 lakhs. Which rule in GFR uh, lays down the standard uh, for the financial property? It is uh, rule 21. Which GDS uh, shall not be eligible for SDBS uh, scheme? It is uh, existing all Grameen Docs who are left with the service uh, 3 years or less than 3 years as on 1 1 2011, they are not eligible. Who is personally responsible for monetary transactions of RMS division and for correctness of the accounts connected herewith? Uh, therewith it is. HRO, Head Record Officer, that is as per Rule 60 of FHB Volume 2. Which of the following statements is true in respect of uh, commutation of pension when final pension has been revised and enacted and, sorry, and enhanced retrospectively for after commutation of a percentage of a original pension? Here uh, you should find the true statement. The answer is uh, the applicant shall be paid difference between the commuted value determined with reference to the enhanced pension and commuted value already authorized without any fresh application for him. This is as per rule 10 of the CCS committed commutation of pension 1981 rules. So no fresh application is required. Automatically it will be paid. The difference will be paid. Which rule in GFR lists the standard methods for obtaining bids uh, for procurement of items not available on GEM portal? It is rule 158. Special casual leave granted in connection with the sterilization under family welfare program can be combined with uh, all of the above that is EL, CL or HPL. As a general rule, uh, special casual leave can be combined with uh, uh, any regular leave or casual leave. Regular leave includes uh, year -end leave and HPL also. Here uh, both are given. So, but uh, there is one more rule that uh, prefix can be made to the EL or HPL or CL or any regular leave uh, uh, prefix or suffix is possible but it cannot be mid-fixed. Uh, the special casual leave cannot be mid-fixed between a regular leave and a CL. That is there. And can family uh, family be given the benefit of 40% commutation if a pensioner uh, dies before exercising option? It is no. The benefit cannot be given to their uh, family since the commutation does not become absolute in that case. Which rule in GFR lays down the procedure uh, of a public procurement outside jump portal without quotation? It is 154. Without quotation, it is up to 25,000. Which rule in GFR lists measures for uh, ensuring transparency, competent, competition, fairness in procurement process? It is uh, rule 173. Many rules have been asked in this uh, paper about GFR rule numbers. You are supposed to quote them. Limit up to the medical advance can be granted for indoor treatment irrespective of major and minor diseases of uh, CSMA rules. Uh, that is uh, CS uh, medical attendance rules. It is 90% of the approved uh, package of C, uh, CGHS package as per this OM 2016 And the financial power of the head of the postal division for renting of buildings in A1 and ACT without FRAC for office use is... Uh, 
it is up to 5000 per month what is the percentage of funds allotted to scholarship of handicapped children of uh, government employees out of available fund it is 3% this is uh, found in annual reports 21 22 uh, in page 100 you will find this one this is as per 1.6.2 section in the welfare measures which of the following is included in the income of a post office in a rural area two fifth of the value of the postage stamp and stationery sold at the office plus 20% 24% of our mo commission on mo issued by the office 20, 75 paisa per sb transaction performed by the office all of the above the answer is all of the above is as per rule 547 of volume 4 any information in respect of allegations of uh, violation of human rights should be provided within it is should be provided within 45 days as per uh, rt act uh, rule uh, rule number 241 section number 241 what is the amount of scholarship granted to scst employees for departmental examination for the promotion to the cadre of ipos uh, jao yao and similar cadres this rule is available under the welfare schemes of gds I was bifurcated from departmental employees A new scheme was issued by this om number 7 om number dated 17 9 as per this om the answer is 1800 for scst employees for departmental examination what is the ceiling limit for availing tax benefit under section 80 cce for nps contribution it is 150000 the general principles of procurement and transparency and grievance redress all do not apply to all of these any procurement of value which is less than 50000 50 lakhs emergency procurement for management of disaster procurement for the purposes of national security as a strategic consideration which authority is competent to process of withdrawal of pension welfare pension wealth fund under nps it is record keeping agency national pension system trust mention which of the following are not exempted from disclosure of information under rt act it is as per dopt om number om number so and so dated 21 9 2007 uh, it would be the information regarding the annual con- uh, confidential reports of an employee in that uh, in this om it is given that acr can be given or cannot be given it is up to the uh, decision of the employee and it can be given if uh, public interest uh, is more than uh, uh, there is if there is a public interest to, uh, to be given in such a case it can be given so here the question is uh, uh, which are not exempted from disclosure means uh, this is not exempted it can be given so it is the answer any inquiry for uh, seeking expression of interest uh, for consultancy is published on central public procurement portal if the estimated cost of consulting services is more than 25 lakhs as per gfr 1832 for seeking information under rt act 2005 the payment of fee dd check ipo should be drawn in the name of the accounts officer of the public authority as per rule 6b of rti rules 2012 head of the circle means it is a postmaster general as per rule 1 of volume 8 why head of the circle means postmaster general means in some states only postmaster general is there for a circle in such a case it is a head of the circle means postmaster general and it is defined in the rule 1 of volume 8 head of the circle shall fix maximum and minimum cash balances of uh, first class head post offices cghs rates are for uh, treatment of covid-19 in private and paneled hospitals in respect of cghs beneficiary in a city shall, shall be as per the package rates prescribed by the state government correct the rates prescribed by NT, nct delhi in case no such rates have been prescribed by state government in a cghs facility both are true so the answer is c after issue of orders for counting past service for pensionary purposes if any individual does not deposit the pensionary benefits already received within one month a penal interest of 2% will be charged as per this om 294 which rule in gfr mandates the need for performance security in respect of goods supplied it is rule 171 advance payment to private agency in case of fabrication contract shall not exceed it is 30% of the value contract as per rule 120 172 one of gfr which of the following statements is false with regard to nomination in cggis uh, the answer is uh, the nomination made by the male subscriber in favor of unmarried sister shall remain in force even after her marriage and the insurance amount would 
uh, become payable to her this is wrong so the answer is uh, d the remaining things are correct whenever d whenever da increases by 50% ca and hostel subsidy shall increase by it will be increased by 25% as per ca scheme what does uh, not constitute break in service for a government servant it is the non reporting to duty after expiry of sanction of leave answer is c remaining things uh, they constitute break in service another is job sense is break in service refusal to work is break in service resorting to slow go slow conduct of work is break in service what is the rate of uh, monthly contribution to cghs uh, for employees drawing pay in the pay level of 11 it is 650 rupees the limit of advance that can be drawn from gpf for obligatory expenses uh, is uh, betrothal marriage funerals and other ceremonies uh, of self and family members and dependents is 12 months pay or 3 fourths of the amount at credit whichever is less which rule in, G in fundamental rules relates to provisions uh, with respect to residential accommodation provided by the government to its employees it is f45 fundamental rules 45 procurement of items through gem portal can be made through any available vendor supplying the said item if value of such procurement is not exceeding 25000 as per rule 154 of uh, gfr who is the chairman of uh, postal welfare board it is minister of states uh, communication and it c and it medical treatment outside india is permissible for treatment uh, for certain ailments uh, for which facilities are not available in india as per csma rules uh, who is the authority to accord prior approval of such a treatment outside india it is a standing committee constituted uh, by the ministry of health and family welfare rule 115 of csma rules in case of employees whereabouts are not known despite of efforts by the police on due complaint to them the accumulation from uh, savings fund of cggas will be payable to the nominees or heirs after statement 1 jute unproofed canvas mail bags must not be used for air transmission statement 2 blue air mail bags uh, should be used for surface transmission with reference to the above statements which of the following is correct the answer is c that is both 1 and 2 statements are correct as per rule 311 of volume 2 with effect from which date the central cggas uh, came into force it is 11 1982 a is correct which among the following is not within the powers of the uh, procurement redressal committee department of uh, bidding is not available when the bidder fails to enter into procurement contract in situations of force major this is the answer d which of the following statements is incorrect here uh, the answer is a that is only Three is incorrect. What is that? If the firm not participated more than three contracts, then it will be ground for banning the business dealings with the firm. This is incorrect. If it is not having three contracts, uh, there is not uh, a bar for uh, banning the business. But what is uh, what is a uh, bar? It is uh, the business dealing with the firm, whether it is registered or not registered, may be ordered or suspended or banned in public interest by the competent authority. This is correct. here inferior quality or uninspected goods uh, that such a contractor may be removed from the list of approved contracts that is correct and if the proprietor of the firm of the employee is convicted by court of law then it will is a ground for banning so these uh, 1 2 and 4 uh, are correct and the 3 is incorrect which of the following method should be used when the estimated value of goods uh, to be procured is uh, 25 lakhs or above as per 161 gfr 2006 17 the advertised tender enquiry should be used in non practicing allowance which is payable to medical officers taken into account uh, for the purpose of working out of nps the npa is to be taken into account for calculation of nps con contribution after what period from the date on which the government servants claim to traveling allowance uh, does the right of the said the government servant is forfeited or deemed to have been relinquished uh, if such a claim has not been preferred uh, to the head of the office this two months which rule in gfr lists the measures for uh, ensuring economy efficiency and accountability in procurement process it is rule 174 overstay of leave without proper sanction not covered by grant of leave by the competent authority do not count for increment this is as per gid 1 under rule uh, 25 of ccs leave rules 1972 maximum value of stamp to be kept in stock for group b postmaster shall be fixed by dps 
A check drawn by any bank located at the same station as that of the head post office, uh, but located at a station where the bank where that uh, bank does not have a branch is treated as local check. The periodicity of establishment review for HSGS one SO is uh, three years. As per clause one of Article Dash of Constitution, the contracts and assurances of property made in exercise of executive power of union shall be executed on dash. The words dash should be therefore follow the designation appended below the signature of the officer authorized in his behalf. The answer is two ninety nine, two ninety nine here Article two ninety nine, and executed on the on behalf of the president and for on behalf of the president it should be written. Suresh, assistant superintendent of post office, has three children. Varun, date of birth 15/8/1997. Tara, date of birth 11/1999. Sara, date of birth 11/1999. Who among these children are not eligible for TA allowance? On Suresh transfer order issued on 14/2021. So, as on 14/2021, this is uh, less than uh, 25 years. These two, Tara and Sara, they are uh, both uh, twins. and so third child will not be uh, third child is also allowed and all are eligible and here uh, marriage of varun is not mentioned so we will take it as uh, unmarried and it is less than 25 years so all are eligible which rule in gfr states that it is mandatory for receiving all bids uh, through e procurement portal in respect of all procurements it is rule 160 Under which provision an agreement or uh, memorandum of agreement uh, for or uh, relating to sale of goods or merchandise uh, exclusively exclusively is exempt from the payment of stamp duty? It is uh, entry five of Schedule One of Indian Stamp Act. Which of the what is the full form of uh, CPSU in according to the purchase of goods and services from e procurement port platform? The answer is Central Public Sector Undertaking. The method of selection evaluation of consultancy proposals is either of the above. That is a quality and cost based selection, least cost select system, or a single source on nomination basis, as per Rule One Ninety Two to One Ninety Four of GFR. As per these rules, it is there. No experimental post office postman and village postman may be sanctioned for a longer period than at a time. It is six months. Rule One Five Fifty Seven of Volume Four. From Volume Four, it has been given. Ajay, who works in Mumbai, has travelled to a place within the city of Mumbai, 15 kilometers away from his office. He returns back to the office after six hours 30 minutes. How much percentage of lump sum amount towards food can he claim? It is 35 percent. A second appeal on information pertaining to person's life and liberty should be decided by the Information Commission. It is no limit. If you have watched my video on uh, RTI, you could have find this question there. I have given there. It is second appeal for the Information Commission. For inform, you should remember that for Information Commission, there will not be any time limit to settle the appeals. That you should remember whether it is a life or liberty or normal appeal. There won't be any time limit for the. Time limit given in the RT Act uh, for the Information Commission uh, to take a decision. Only. Uh, for taking decisions and appeals uh, for the CPIO, only time limits will be there. For Information Commission, no time limit. Within how many days? Uh, however, it is a tricky question. I have given in the video. Within how many days uh, should the withheld amount of pension with wealth uh, be paid to the subscriber on conclusion of departmental or judicial proceedings? It is within ninety days. What is the penalty per day to be imposed against a central public information officer for giving misleading information? It is two fifty per day. Which rule in the GFR rule GFR lays down the provisions for date of effect of sanction? It is rule twenty seven. The maximum period up to which a special disability leave for injury or intentionally inflicted can be sanctioned? It is twenty four months. Minimum years of qualifying service required for government servant to take CGHS membership after retirement is ten years. Which of the following statements is false in respect of children education allowance scheme? Here the answer is B. That is the CEA is not payable for children of citizens of Nepal, Bhutan who are employees of government of India and whose children are studying in native place. This can be. Paid, so it is false. The remaining things are correct. Other than disabled, it is twenty years. Correct. CEA is reimbursed during once a year after completion of financial year. Correct. Dismissal or removal. CEA is paid 
for the academic year as a, uh, till the academic year end as per gf uh, gpf cs rules which of the following statement is not true with regard to the nominations the answer is uh, d a notice for cancellation of existing nominations sent by subscriber of gpf to the accounts officer becomes effective only when the subscriber simultaneously replaces it with another validation this is wrong so this is only answer krishna inspector post has been granted leave by divisional head for 3 months and he has proceeded on leave to the hometown far away from headquarters however within 15 days of his leave proceeded leave his it has been cancelled the leave has been cancelled by the divisional heads head and and in this case whether krishna can claim ta from his hometown to his place of duty yes it can be claimed and when the when a government servant is compulsory recalled to the duty for uh, before expiry of his leave uh, and the leave is uh, thereby curtailed by not less than 1 month uh, he is uh, entitled to draw the mileage allowance that is 2 ta for journey from the place at which the order of recall reaches him or if the journey involves traveling by sea in such a case uh, from the port at which he lands in india to the sank to the station to which he is recalled so if a period by which the leave is curtailed is less than a month the mileage allowance may be allowed at the discretion of the authority recalling the government servant okay this is the rule position and this is sr 142 this is sr 142 you will find and 90 question what is the rate of reimbursement for children with disabilities under children education allowance scheme it is the double the rate and with the annual ceiling is there the annual ceiling it is 54000 and uh, when procurement for uh, from a category of prospect to bidders is necessary for mandatory procurement uh, when it is uh, required it is limited competitive bidding is chosen in such a case it is required Which of the following sentences are correct regarding the applicability of CCS pension rules 1972 to employees who are who were put to who are put on induction training period to 11-2004 and were in receipt of stipend during such such a training? The answer is uh, D. That is the uh, CCS pension rules is applicable to such employees uh, provided the period spent on induction training be eligible to count as a qualifying service under CCS pension rules 1972. Dr Ram Singh who is a doctor belonging to Central Health Service his date of birth is uh, 2nd February 1962 he shall retire on it is 28 February 2024 single tender enquiry may be resorted to if uh, the goods are of uh, proprietary in nature what is the monetary limit up to which uh, ministry or department may as its uh, discretion uh, make uh, purchases by issuing purchase orders containing basic terms and conditions consumables and perishables uh, articles come under the term stores as per rule 269b of volume 2 it is stores procurement of items are not available on jam on recommendations of purchase committee can be made through any available vendor supplying the said item if value of procurement is not exceeding 2.5 lakhs lpc is a form local purchase committee as per rule 155 of gfr up to 2.5 what is the period uh, for which a residence allotted to government can be retained by family after death of the government servant at normal license fee it is 12 months in case of loss due to misappropriation amount the said amount is redrawn on simple receipt pending the investigation and uh, recovery and write off as per uh, rule 335 of gfr 2017 this is conspicuously inserted <laughs> hundred question fundamental rules came into effect from 111922 what will be the rate of contribution recovered from the employees during half pay leave under nps it is restricted to the to that proportionate to the leave salary head of head of his summary shall include account of cash receipts and disbursement of head of his itself all these things will be in the ho cash book not ho summary so the answer is a one not three the bid shall be included excluded if the procuring entity determines uh, 
all of the above that is the bedder is insolvent or uh, bedder unduly influences the procurement process or bedder has a conflict of interest uh, that materially affects the fair competition as per uh, section 22 one of the public procurement bill which among the following uh, falls under the code of integrity it is none of the above why because now no disclosure of conflict of interest uh, it uh, non disclosure non obstruction of any investigation or auditing of procurement process allowing business uh, transactions between the bidder and any procuring entity this is as per gfr 175 a government servant who has been granted permanent uh, monthly traveling allowance uh, by competent authority can draw the said allowance uh, so many days an extraordinary leave can be granted to the temporary government servant having 3 years of service when leave is required for the purpose of pursuing higher studies uh, are pursuing studies certified to be in public interest it is 24 months study leave rule 32 of ccs leave rules between mumbai and pune following options to travel are available and mumbai to pune via kalyan rail 192 kilometers mumbai to pune via penvel it is 189 kilometers and mumbai to pune express way road 150 km ta will be admissible for travel by which of the following the answer is all routes if the competent authority decides that the choice of route is choice of route is reasonable and the competent authority may for special reasons which should be recorded and permit mileage allowance to be calculated a route other than the shortest or cheapest route provided the journey is actually performed by such route and so this is sr uh, sr 30 uh, 31 it is sr 31 normally the shortest route uh, will be taken into consideration based on the uh, time taken for uh, distance uh, traveled fixation of a payment pay of the government servant on his or her promotion to a post not involving assumption of duties or responsibilities of greater importance is made under not involving greater uh, responsibilities fr 2211a2 greater responsibilities 1a1 when shall retirement or death gratuity of a government servant lapse uh, to the government it is uh, when the government dies the government servant dies while in service or after retirement without receiving the amount of gratuity and leaves behind no family and have and has uh, made no nomination or nomination if any does not subsist in such a case it will uh, lapse the financial power of the head of the division to purchase uh, per annum furniture and fitting of mdg in his division is uh, 50000 a bill prepared in uh, ac form acg 37 by sorting assistants in railway rms uh, division relates to overtime allowance which of the following is not uh, compulsory to be deducted from the subsistence allowance of a government servant under suspension it is pli uh, you may have to know about the compulsory deductions which should not be de- uh, de- deducted okay which are optional these three things you should learn which rule in uh, gfr lays down the fundamental principles and procedure of uh, public procurement it is uh, rule 144 up to what amount of limit uh, payment of pub- provident fund money can be made to the natural garden on behalf of minor without requiring any guardianship certificate in the event of death of the subscriber from what date the maximum limit increase it to 40% of government servant to commute uh, for a uh, lump sum payment of his pension it is 1196 mileage rate of journey is performed by his bicycle is 1.2 rupees per kilometer whether a retired employee can commute his leave uh, which was availed before his or her retirement after his retirement no it can't be the strength of service on or part of service sanctioned as a separate unit is known as cadder such contingent charges which required neither special sanction nor counter signature but may be incurred by the head of the office on his own authority subject to necessity of accounting for them are known as fully vouched contingencies uh, as per rule 243.4 of fhb volume 1 which of the following are components of t on transfer travel for self and family transportation of personal effects packaging and loading charges transportation of personal car the answer is 1 2 and 4 this is not correct remaining things are the travel for self and family transportation of personal effects transportation of personal car they are all the components of transfer ta transfer
in accordance with rule 331 loss need not be reported in case of petty losses of value not exceeding 10000 it is a, as per gfr at, at the time of uh, retirement of government servant uh, who had a break in service in the past uh, such a break in service uh, the pointing authority shall not condone his uh, break in service as a matter of routine for the purposes of uh, pension may choose not to condone the said break in service for the purpose of pension only under exceptional circ- circumstances uh, not condone sir said break in service uh, for the purpose of pension unless government applies for the same none of the above it is as per gid 1 of uh, rule 28 of ccs pension rules and uh, dopt letter number so and so 23 9 to 1982 in that it says that if necessary the appointing authority may in its discretion not condone the break in service on account of unauthorized absence uh, for purposes of pension only in exceptional and grave circumstances and not as a matter of of matter of course how many days of uh, child adoption leave uh, to family female government servant can be granted on a valid adoption of child below age of 1 year having fewer than uh, two surviving child it is children it is 180 days how will the date of death of an official who is on a exol or a el on mc be treated under provisions of ccs pension rules it is treated as a part of leave uh, which he has a which he was availing on the day of uh, on the day previous to the day of death public procurement policy of msc uh, order uh, 2012 uh, mandates uh, for minimum of dash procurement of annual requirement uh, of goods and services by all central ministries departments uh, psus from msc uh, how much percentage it is 20 percentage you should purchase from the msc how many awards are to be given in each ke- in each circle for the children of departmental employees for excellence in uh, academic achievement for 10th and 12th classes it is five awards when shall the government have no liability for payment of the committed value of pension the answer is c when the government servant dies before the date of superannuation or forfeits the claim to the pension before retirement in such a case it is uh, what is the percentage of death gratuity that will be paid to the garden in the absence of natural garden without production of a formal guardianship certificate but subject to production of an indemnity bond with the suitable sureties it is 20% as per gid 5 under rule 51 of ccs pension rules in case of gpf advance up to 12 months of pay or 3/4 of the amount at credit granted to the government servant for purchase of consumable durables in how many maximum installments the advance sanction will be recovered it is of 60 installments which among us the following is true for those governed by ccs leave rules here uh, employee should be encouraged to take leave regularly correct employee should not ordinarily be denied to be to a 50 year old to your old employee correct leave is not a matter of right uh, it is as per rule 7 of ccs rules correct so all of the above is correct which rule in gfr provides for buyback offer it is 176 rule an official who is at the pay level 4 can claim transportation of a conveyance on transfer of his uh, own motor bike own motor bike unless is under ccs uh, leave rules uh, as administrator means uh, an administrator of union territory what is the amount of financial assistance granted to the purchase of uh, mechanical motorized tricycle for automatically handicapped government employees it is up to 15000 or 50% of the cost of the motorized tricycle whichever is less what is the amount of insurance cover under ccgis 1980 applicable to go- group d um, servant uh, government servant who joined the service after jan 1990 it is 15000 what is the income limit of parents uh, for dependency for having eligibility of uh, wholly dependent uh, mainly dependent on government servant for the purpose of concession under csma rules 1944 it is 9000 per month plus dns relief the financial power of the head of the postal division for annual spe- or special repairs maintenance expenses to departmental building per annum per building is up to 15000 who will bear the cost of preparation of digitized cards and also annual service charges of accounts for enrolled gds in sdbs it is department of post itself will bear the cost unless otherwise provided the receipt for money received on behalf of the government should be granted in ACG 
Which among the following does not form the part of general cash balance of a post office? It is government securities kept as security deposit. Duty includes a service as apprentice provided that service is uh, such service is followed by confirmation. Who among the following is correct? Which among the following is correct? Is uh, the government uh, central government may prescribe model bidding documents uh, for various types of procurement? This is correct. Pre qualification of bidder shall be for any kind of procurement. This is not correct. List of excluded bidders need not be posted in CPPP. That is also not correct. Which among the following uh, government um, servants is are eligible to become CGGAS uh, nine members of CGGAS? The answer is one, two, and four only. Three is not correct. That is armed and parliamentary. Paramilitary forces is not correct. Railways, okay. Central government uh, servants on deputation to state government, okay. Central government servants on deputation, okay. For any new projects, expansions, modernizations, and modifications of uh, existing projects involving any uh, an expenditure of more than how many crores and above, CVC guidelines are applicable. If it is um, above five crores and above, CVC guidelines are applicable. Projects. Following are the standard methods of bidding: advertised tender inquiry, stage two-stage bidding, single tender inquiry, electronic reverse auctions. All are correct. This question is already given in a different way, reverse way, asking the rule number one fifty-eight. It is. It is the duty of a treasurer of the head post office to take over take over the account bags, collect cash from the postman and. Window delivery post postal stand, cash and cash receipts and corresponding vouchers from counter. So all of these is correct. Answer is D. Part one of audit inspection report consists of it consists of the schedule of persistent irregularities. This persistent is irregularities will be mentioned there as per rule ninety five of FHB volume one. Which of the following statement is uh, false in respect of commutation of pension rule CC nineteen eighty one commutation? The answer is D, as per Rule Six of CCS Commutation. Plan. What is the contribution amount to be contributed by the government in SDBS scheme for GDS? It is two hundred per month as as per old rates. Now it is actually it is revised as three hundred per month. What is the amount of monthly subscription of CGGS at full rate for Group D employee who joined the service after first? January nineteen ninety one. It is submit the disclaimer that it is. Uh, we have to wait for the departmental final key. This is only for uh, this key is only for education purpose. Please post your uh, comments in the comment section if any. Thank you. Subscribe to Career Post.